Uh, let's just say a lot of people on the internet keep score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if we, if, if we kept score, oh, man, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, Wait, dude. so are you saying, you're just like, hey, Asian guys, just, just don't keep score <laughs> so that the problem's not there. Yeah, it's like if your parents bring you a food court and there's an Asian, you know, place, there's a cheeseburger place, a Jamaican spot, and you go eat at the Jamaican spots, and everyone's like, what are you doing? And you're like, then why do we come to the food court? I don't right. You're all about saying the truth, but then not caring about it, right? I feel like that's like... <laughs> no, I feel like that's like you're... Do Asian Americans have too much internalized self-hate? How does this affect dating between Asian men and Asian women? And why is this particular clip going so viral? Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Sunnyside TV said something and made it on TikTok. Darrell Rivera made a response. Let's run the clips. And there's this whole narrative that, oh, Asian girls are always with like white boys and they're getting colonized. And the only reason why girls get the most hate is because of the internalized racism. A lot of Asian girls love coming on this platform and preaching that they love white men and that they'll never date an Asian guy, their own kind. What kind of guys do you like? Uh, white boys. I'm not into Asian guys. Why not? The thing is, they're a lot shorter than I am, which is something that I can't. And the thing is, majority of us guys don't care. We just hate that you guys just bash on your own race. Like, there's a huge difference between having a preference and like literally like, hating on your own kind common thing that many Asian women say, which is I'm not attracted to Asian men because they look like my brother, uncle, etc. Article points out, do you ever see white women or Latina women saying I can't date white or Latina men because they look like my brother or father? Here's the thing, all women should be able to date whoever they want, but you can date whoever you want without insulting the men of your own race. Ideology hurts our whole At the end of the day, just do you, girl, whatever makes you happy. Just don't make us feel any less than. I just feel like this always touches a nerve. There's thousands of comments on this Next Shark Instagram post. Uh, joining us to discuss today is comedian Andre Kim. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having me on this front line of this race war. Yes, <laughs> inter-race, gender war, whatever you want to call it. Why does it feel like this is almost like corn tortillas versus flour tortillas in the taco world? Pineapp pineapple on pizza versus classic pizza flavors. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like it's just something that just never ends in the debate rages on yeah i mean to your analogy i think it's more like uh the philly roll in sushi like cream cheese in sushi right which is gross by the way but it's kind of like it that gross? i, I kind of like the philly roll. you like right, it but, but the philly get, roll or california roll which is the better americanized roll it's I another get, debate i get what you're saying it's like cream cheese is like white and creamy and american <laughs> and then uh the sushi roll is is asian and fishy maybe but i i guess like uh based off what they said i felt like that the conversation surrounding this clip is a lot better than other past clips when like the asian dude is super bitter this guy's very like empathetic he's trying to be understanding and i think what he said was very agreeable most right. people would agree look asian women do date who you are whoever just don't disrespect asian guys on the way out do you like, think it no helped point. the conversation that they were both like i'd say that you know they're both like good looking influencers in their own right oh, yeah. It's like, it's way different than having, uh, you know, two curmudgeon looking people <laughs> duel it out, right? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, but uh, It makes Andre it more viral, is what I'm saying, because people can no, more yeah, assume, yeah, yeah. make assumptions about their dating lives. Yeah. And they, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they see I, raps I, and... I think ugly, it. yeah, ugly people don't go viral. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's true. That's real talk. That's what, that's what he's but saying. Andre, I guess we were talking about earlier how uh, the girls clip on the Eggs and Bean podcast... She didn't deny the dynamic. She just said, I don't love the narrative. I don't love how that is the way it is. But she didn't deny it. Yeah, she's basically not taking accountability. And she's saying, I don't love the truth. Right. You know what I mean? That's basically <laughs> what she's saying. Yeah. Right. She doesn't like how people are reacting to this dynamic that I guess everybody is acknowledging. Both right. Darrell is acknowledging right. it and Sunnyside TV is saying, yes, perhaps a sizable portion right. of Asian girls seem to date white guys, but this is how the narrative spins from that point they're arguing or or I guess having feelings about it. Right? No, and my point is like, because she's like, oh, and then when Asian guys date out, oh, they get celebrated. I'm like, yeah, that's because it's like Jeremy Lin, he's the only Asian in the NBA, he's gonna get celebrated because it's just rare. I'm not beating saying it's better. Beating the odds, beating yeah, the odds. It's right? just not, it's not necessarily better than everybody. It's just, it's just rare. And it's like, you know, representation. So I'm saying it's just the same way as you see crazy rich Asians make a lot of money or Parasite win a bunch of Oscars. You're like, oh, great. Right. Like representation at that level. And I think that that's why the comments section went to such a productive place. It was kind of nice to see the discussion move to almost want to say like a 1.5 or like a 2.0 mm -hmm. phase. What is your general perspective on this? I know you 
or of two minds, Andre, because you kind of have your side where you are like, I don't care, but then you also see what everybody else, you know what I mean? Someone yeah. who does care, but you see what they see too, right? Yeah, I think it's weird to like kind of like keep score of like what, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, well, this race dated 45 white men this month, man, and then you have got 72 Chinese catching up. It's like, <laughs> what do we, it just sounds like a bunch of like single bitter people. Because if you're happy in a relationship, you don't care what other people do yeah. with their I, dating life. I see life. what you're saying too. I, I totally think that what you're saying is true, but you acknowledge that if we were to keep score, the scores might be kind of, Far from uh, let's just say a lot of people on the internet keep score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if we, if, if we kept score, oh man, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Wait, dude. so are you saying you're just like, hey, Asian guys, just just don't keep score, <laughs> so that the problem's not there. Yeah, I see what you're saying though, because I know you spend a lot of time around in the uh, in the African American community too, right? I I I guess. Yeah, I mean, but like they almost have the <laughs> same split, but with black men dating out a lot more often than black women, right? Right. And then sometimes the same thing. The, sometimes it's also the same thing where the black guys are like, ah, oh, man. And then some black girls, they say, like, I'm happy with myself, so I don't even think about it. But then obviously some, like we said, there's always a, a variance in, in any community in terms of like but, how people process a, 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 the viewing of a dynamic, right? So yeah. before we get in the comment section, David, what do you feel like is a point that a lot of people are not bringing up in this discussion where it's like, where does the self-hate actually come from? Yeah, I think to be honest, the self-hatred... Uh, from the Asian community, which may manifest itself in a dating sense. We're only just talking about one outcome of this larger symptom is that like, I think Asians feel incredibly deferent to, to, to who won, right? Like if Asians view like white people as the winners of like global history over the last 200 to 400, 500 years, however, you know, you guys, you know, you historians can debate about it. Like, like you, it's like the way Asians react to that is with a lot of deference and buying into that. So they, Asians themselves might feel like we're inferior. Mm -hmm. So it's at that point, it's almost like, uh, let's just say like, uh, this is like a crazy analogy, but like a dwarf, you know, like dwarf people, right? Or, or little people, I, you know, I'm trying to use the right <laughs> term to say it, right? Yeah. Like Peter Dinklage. Peter, Peter Dinklage, Dinklage yes. he's a dwarf, right? And there's also like other uh, dwarves that are really known in the community for being like super good looking. Those people, can date regular people that are not other little people. Right. Right. Peter Dinklage can date like a model in the regular world or a like non dwarf a, person. A non dwarf yes. person. But there's other dwarves that are more like staying within the dwarf world. And it's crazy. I'm saying to say that, but I'm saying sometimes the Asian community can almost view ourselves as the dwarves. Yeah, no, I, I think that definitely there's some truth to it. But anyways, guys, let's get in the comments section. You let us know in the comments down below what you're thinking so far of this discussion, but there's a whole bunch of comments, and yes, I do think the discussion is much better than other discussions about this before. I, I think as time goes on, it's just going to get better and better. So let's get into the comments. Yeah, somebody said, yes, internalized racism is always an issue. However, the misogyny from Asian men isn't something to be ignored either. Claiming that it is to protect Asian women, like we don't have the capacity to figure out if we're being fetishized or used on our own. We never ask to be protected and we don't need the judgment either. Everyone just live their lives and mind your own. Asian women are not responsible for Asian men being triggered by the system of white supremacy that we all suffer from. Yes, it all comes back to white supremacy. This is from a uh, Asian girl that I think is, you know, this is this is was one of the top comments that got upvoted. Right. I, I would call that a moderate pro Asian female comment, but not like ten out of ten. You know, like a mm -hmm. seven out of ten. Uh, how, how, how do you feel about that comment, Andre? Like, I guess, like, does it it makes sense? Well, I, I think it's weird to like say it's something's misogynist when you're kind of just criticizing a community. You know what I mean? It just shows how sensitive. People are you're saying misogyny is kind of a strong word in this case. It's, it's like dramatic. Yeah, because you know they, I mean? you're saying Asian guys they haven't really, when it comes to this conversation, they're really, it, to be honest, if anything, it sounds more like complaining from Asian guys. Yeah, right? we're just it like, definitely is. We're yeah. just kind of like, we're not even protesting, but I think a lot of Asian guys are like, hey, what's going on here? Yeah. That's what, it's just like a guy in the corner being like, whoa. You know, what? at one point back 10 years ago, I felt like it was even taboo for Asian guys to point it out. 
Nowadays, you know how everything's out in the open yeah, and everybody's yeah, canceling yeah. everybody? Yeah. It's like, yeah. everybody's just saying everything now that they notice, right? Yeah. 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 I just think it's dramatic. Like, you know what I mean? You say one little thing about the community and now you're a misogynist. I mean, that's a heavy label, dude. No, right? no, it's a strong, it's just a strong accusation. But Andrew, to your point, I think that, you know, Sunnyside TV, she came moderate with it. I think Darrell Rivera, his response was moderate. So that's what triggers all these thoughtful, moderate mm -hmm. responses. This is a moderate pro-Asian male comment. I think it's important to acknowledge that we can't look at Asian American and Asian American women as if they've had the same cultural standing throughout history. Historically, through media and just American culture, Asian men have been desexualized and seen as undesirable, whereas Asian women have been put in the complete opposite situation, although they were being completely fetishized and sought after. Personally, I have some issues seeing Asian women with white guys because of this. I do, however, have no issues at all dating them, seeing Asian women date people of another race. It just personally sucks to grow up and th through Western media and see Asian women always following for a white guy and then doing so in IRL. Oh, because, yeah, it is true in commercials and everything. You see definitely that couple. It's very common. Um, would you, would you agree I, that this was more moderate pro-Asian male the uh, other way, but, not, yeah. but still a little balanced? That, yeah. seemed, that seemed more fair. Yeah. You know what I mean? It seemed more neutral. And uh, I don't know, I, I think it's one of those things where uh, people grow up with, with white males being the lead role, like DiCaprio or something like that. So I think... I think because well, we're in, living in Western society yeah, right now. So right? I think that's why the wiring of people's brain, I think that they're attracted to that more. Yeah, I mean, obvious, I always think media plays a part. Of course, media influences your life, but also it's just like your environment, you know, and for whatever reason... Like, there's girls who grow up around a lot of, you know, strong Asian dudes who still like Asian men, even though they consume a lot of Justin Timberlake and Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. and Chris Hemsworth. Like, they can all still find those guys attractive, but they still, like, like to date. What, what did Asian you think men? about his comment where he said, due to the media of seeing Asian women always being paired with white guys, that's why that's the only one that triggers me. I never get triggered when I see an Asian woman out with a black or Latino guy. Or like yeah. an Arab guy or something like you that. Know what? Because I, I he's saying that there's no media yeah. context to make him feel bad about yeah. that. Yeah, but you know what I do, and I understand why this is, but I kind of hate that we have to put so much focus on white dudes. But of course, I know why we do, because they... It's that's the most common like couple that we see like interracially that's a very common couple and yeah, we no, see that everywhere and specifically Anglo scandal I mean yeah. I broke it down before yeah to be but honest. I just I just kind of hate true. being like oh the white guy's doing this that's true if, if if you're white and watching all this you're probably like. I don't know what you want from me, dude. I'm just fucking... <laughs> I'm just living my life. Yeah, I'm, right, right, I'm right. killing it, dude. Andre, <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> man. I'm fucking killing it, Wait, dude. You, you want me to just like... Yeah, you know, uh, to Andre, play, play the white guy real quick. Hey, man, white guy, you, you, you're you like dating a lot of Asian women. Man. What's up with that? What, what do you... What, what, should I, what should I do? How should I feel? I don't know. Maybe you should get surgery or something. <laughs> it's pretty nice, dude. <laughs> I'm killing it with these hot Asian chicks. Dude, I think a good looking white chat, if they're like got some swag or whatever, they, they date anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. a little bit more, like, you know I mean? Not and, and you know what it is? I don't always want to focus on Asian and white, but, like, it is, like, I mean, they, they just date a lot of ethnic women. Anyways, guys, let's get into a firmly pro-male Asian So, so, so like we said, we had moderate comments supporting both sides. This is more firmly in one camp. I think it's an interesting dynamic worth talking about. I come from a perspective that Asian-American guys have been unfairly placed lowest in the attraction dating pool due to all types of biases, and white guys are at the top, and they could plausibly date any race that they want. So every time an Asian girl dates a white guy, that's one less option for the Asian guy, and the pool for us just gets smaller and smaller. That That is true. You know, statistically on, on dating apps, Asian men have the least amount of, like, matches, yeah. percentage-wise. Uh -huh. Even lower than, like, um, like, black women, which people always say black women have the hardest time right, finding love. Right, they're saying they compare those dynamics, yeah. right? It's also like this, um, you know, I don't want to fall into the, this, like, um, victim mentality, but it's, it's just the truth. Right. Right. You're all about saying the truth, but then not caring about it, right? I feel like that's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like that's like your David's fucking, funny, dude. <laughs> like you're like saying, yeah, there's, you know, that's the macro score. <laughs> that's how many home runs Barry Bonds has or like <laughs> McGuire has, but like who cares, dude? dude yo, that, don't be calling you? out my playbook <laughs> right now, dude. Dude, was that was that you back in school? You're like grades, yeah, grades, but who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, grades do determine the college you get yeah. into, and the college you get into does determine a lot of your life. <laughs> 
But who yeah. cares, dude? Uh, but, yeah. But, but, but going off of Nelson Young's comment... Uh, who, we, who we know personally. Yeah, right? Nelson's, Nelson's a good guy. But I think there was actually a debate underneath his comment that was like, well, why do you feel like Asian women are in your pool? Why don't Asian men just be dating all different types of women? And then there was a whole conversation to be like, well, a lot of non-Asian women... Uh, don't like Asian men. Now it's increasing. We understand. It's the changing. times are changing. It's 2023, yeah. the, the extrapolation Dude, of the trend. Like I said, guys, good. Asian men, just trust me, you're in a way better position than it was 15 years ago. So cherish this moment and keep the ball rolling. Yeah. But but yes, it's true that less Asian, less non-Asian women are interested in Asian men. I do think, and I'll always say this about Asian dudes, I do think they focus on Asian women maybe a notch more than they should. Like they're mm. like, oh, I only want to date. You're saying they have the blinders on to the whole field. Yeah. Yeah, like open yourself like, up just a little bit more. That's um, fair. This is an interesting point because you were bringing up the the similar situation of I guess black males date out a lot more than black females do, and Asian females date out a lot more than Asian American males do. This is a comment from a black woman herself. This is the same argument with black men who don't date black women. It's really sad what colonialism has done to all of us. That's, this is from a black woman. Yeah, and then said yeah. That's, uh, some more comments from black women were like, yeah, this is the same conversation. Black men, uh, all we want, all we want as black women is for black men to keep our name out of their mouths when referring to their dating she, preferences. She put a lot of the clapping yeah. hands. So, yeah. so this is kind of going back to the whole, like, what the Filipino guy said in the beginning where he was like, listen, Asian women, date who you want to date, but you just don't got to diss Asian dudes. Don't diss Asian What's the point? What does that do? Why? Just go on and live your life. Everybody's fine. We're not stopping you from doing anything. But can you just stop talking about talking down on Asian men? It's, it's like it, we live in America, dude. Like your parents, if you had immigrant parents, they moved here. And there's a bunch of races around. Like, and you, God forbid, you date. It's like, why live here then? Are you if saying you it's like the food court? Like you walk into a food court yeah. and there's all these different stalls? Yeah, it's like if your parents bring you a food court and there's an Asian you know, place, there's a cheeseburger place, a Jamaican spot, and you go eat at the Jamaican spots, and everyone's like, what are you doing? You're like, then why do we come to the food court? I don't yeah, remember. I see what you're saying. I see what why? you're saying. But isn't it a little bit, I will say, I'm playing the devil's advocate here. Isn't it a little bit different than a food court? Because a food court, they always want you to be their customer. But I feel like a lot of Asian guys feel like, like, it's almost like they had uh, they got into the food court and they were like getting denied access to some of the other food stalls from other international food courts. I'm not saying yeah, this yeah, is true. Yeah. I'm just saying this is the perception. No, that's the problem with analogies. It's not going to be 100 percent accurate. <laughs> you know no, what I mean? I, you're doing, of course, you're, in the food hall, everybody like is like coming. Come, yeah, come, but come. I, but I think that uh, <laughs> he's no, doing no, that thing like food courts don't have feelings. You know what I mean? Uh, well, there's people out standing outside of the stall. Be like, come here, eat here, yeah, man. Right. You are you hungry? Right. You want the teriyaki chicken? Oh, you want the? You want the I would say right. it's almost more like if you're pledging a fraternity or sorority, getting like a bid from oh. like some sort of exclusive yeah. club, right? Well, that's why a lot of Asian guys are moving outside of the country and going to Latin America, where they feel passport like, pros, no, baby. <laughs> I where knew we were gonna bring this up. Like they feel, they feel like by going elsewhere in the world that you know that food stall is being like, "Hey, we're welcoming everybody. Come on down, boys." Or like, maybe they don't sound like that because they're more yeah. like, <laughs> "I'm not gonna lie, papi, 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 chino, papi, chino, papi." I'm not gonna lie. After a certain point, it just sounds like a bunch of dudes that don't get laid. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> she just sounds so bitter after a while. I, I see where you're coming from, no, for sure. You know for I, mean? Sure. I mean, I mean, I used to, I used to be the same way. I think it also comes down to like sometimes you have to do reflection on yourself and maybe be like, maybe I just don't have good game. You know what I mean? Because I used to say this thing when Stop Asian Hate was a thing. I made a video. I was like, Stop Asian Hate. How about you more Asian men, huh? How about we do that? Oh. <laughs> you were encouraging that yeah. as a way to contribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You don't want to donate to this charity, whatever, right? right? It's also, I don't know. It's like, it's like, like I said, with the keeping score thing, like with dating, it's weird. It's like, where do you draw the line? It's like, if you had like Jamaican today, are people gonna be like, man, what the f doing, dude? Are you, you know? It's like right. you just keep track of every time someone hops out of their their race. Yeah, it's I like, don't know. I think, dude. Where do you draw the line on that? I, I know what you're coming from. I know where you're coming from. Somebody said, uh, I don't feel like it's actually internalized racism. It's more just like trauma from my own experiences. I no longer want to be part of the Asian culture or the Asian world. Oh. I don't want another Asian mother-in-law in my life. Mine is enough to deal with. Oh. I just don't like the culture. And to your point, it's almost like the food court analogy. So this does end up fitting. Like I'm tired of being Asian, walking into the international food court and eating Asian. That's what they said? That's what these girls said. Oh. Uh, I think I found I, a match. I like, 
You know, I think there's so many reasons, and I think some reasons sound more legit than others. I think this reason's, I give it like a five or six out of ten. It's not a horrible reason. No, I've you heard can't, this before. You can't deny this is it. Is this based in like legitimacy? You know, and if this is how they feel, I don't want to take that away from them. Obviously, the whole like, oh, they look like my brother thing is like, how many brothers you got? Like, you know, that's stupid. But, <laughs> but well, whole, everybody from the same ethnicity actually looks like. Yeah, each other, but I actually. understand where because maybe if they go to that Asian food stall and then the Asian service is like so overbearing, like, how huh, what you want to eat? Huh? Come on, come on, hurry up. Okay, okay, what you're Asian? Like, and then they just speak to them in in the in like their Asian language and mm-hmm. then it's like very uncomfortable for them and the Asian girls like, I don't want it. According to Darrell Rivera's logic, you can go to any other food court. You can go to the burgers and fries or the yeah. steak and frites food court uh, stall, but you just can't keep dissing on the teriyaki. Yeah, don't yeah, diss over no. That's what he was saying. He was like saying, listen, yo, you want to go over there? I can't say anything, but just don't be over there. Yeah. Leave a negative one yeah. star Yelp reviews all day. No, you know why you can't diss the teriyaki stall? when you eat at the Jamaican stall or the burger spot is because everybody else in the food court's going to see you talking trash about the teriyaki mm. spot. And they're going to be like, huh? Oh, well, maybe maybe I don't want teriyaki. Yeah, Ooh. that girl's talking trash on it. I heard, like, the chicken, I guess, is, like, kind of dry, and they give you small pieces, so I'm not going to go. Yeah, you're right. It's, I, I heard they have small pieces. <laughs> 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 this girl, hey... Just don't create different IP addresses. Get the VPN so you can leave multiple reviews, guys. Um, <laughs> this, this girl said, men consistently degrade women via this type of racism, and I'm not interested in male tears at all. The energy you're receiving from Asian women is the energy that you gave Asian women for decades and centuries. This is the sins of a father approach. Yo. Because uh, it is true. You, we would all agree that Asia, it varies country to country, is more <coughs> patriarchal, though, right? <coughs> yeah. Like Asia, but yeah, do you, it's very traditional. But so, what do you think about the argument? Is like this is just the get back for how you guys did us, dude. I mean, you know, the, for the, the you know, I, I, well, I'm in Chinese nah. foot binding. That my I, I, my mama, yeah, I, I, nah, nah, guys. I I, th- I mean, dude, there was patriarchy all over. Like I'm saying, the Western world. You want to point out all the things that they were doing too. Right. I don't want to go tit for tat, history yeah, point for I'm history saying. point. Yeah, Let's not do that. do that because trust me, it's gonna get really really crazy. But I just think that like. I think this attitude from this person, like I support a lot of Asian women's opinions on this, but I, I, I'm not sure about this one. I'm right, because it all seems a little one. bit unfair. You're saying because the whole globe was patriarchal. She's like, for a century, you did this, and on the, but and then I'm like, I don't know. I mean, she said, I don't know. I thought her point. I give it a five out of ten. Well, you, you can't. Yeah, the, the, Dude, the, the Western world was super like. You know, right, right, messed up too, right? Misogynistic and patriarchal. Racist too, right? What are you yeah. talking about? Like, yeah, super racist. It's super problematic. Like, it is true so that, like, white guys have only been liking Asian women for maybe, like, 50, 60 years now. Right? Like, well, it's because they, they, they weren't uh, available to them. Or they were, like, enemies in a war, too. Well, that too, yeah. Well, yeah. It's listen, tough to I, say. Who knows listen, that? listen, I don't was think it, Was any, that Tom Cruise movie it's, real? It's, was it's, it where he yeah, was, like, The Last Samurai? Dude, or was that fake? It's, <laughs> dude, nobody's getting mad at women who date a man for a better life. Like, that makes total sense. Like, if you feel more comfortable or you feel safer or you feel more accepted, that's fine. Like, no one's arguing with that. Right. Well, I think that this goes into the whole, like, hypergamy thing, dating up, because this leads to our next comment saying, this guy said, oh, please, date outside their race. Let's be real. Asian girls only go for white guys. I don't see them with black, brown, Latino, or South Asian men that, like, it's only the top of society white guys. Nah, they haven't been to New York City. Everybody, everybody's dating everybody out here. Right. More so. But more you so. know what I mean. I'm talking about, you know, on the people keeping the macro score, if if, I guess tracking in their mind. Is that true that it's mostly just like tall Anglo or Scando dudes? That's all. I mean, I, that's all I see. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I, w- I would more say that that's the majority distribution. But like you said, everybody dates everybody in, yeah. in certain segments you know also too it's like at a certain point you just like i said you sound like why are you sort of him why don't you for me right like that's kind of like what you, you, you sound like when you keep not you but the people right, 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 right. you know that's what i mean what you're saying. yeah no 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 for sure um somebody just said what a generalization i know a lot of asian women who prefer dating asian men or minority due to cultural issues nothing against white folks but that wouldn't work for me and then someone said, uh, yeah, it's actually more about height. It's because Asian guys tend to be shorter, and that's all women care about. Do they? I feel like Asian dudes are a, b- a little above average. Like, I'm 5'11". Yeah. You guys I don't are, know. You guys, Korean guys are kind of tall, though. Yeah. Well, how tall so, are you? so, wait, wait, Andre. I'm 5'8". Where, where's, your, where's, your, where's your white girl? Where's your ballot girl? 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm, what, what type of girls do you mostly date? Because it, it is true. That's the thing. I don't. It's keep... true. At five eleven, you do have more of a. You know what I mean? Like you yeah, more yeah. options as a you five eleven Asian guy. Yeah. You think so? I would say so. You guys mean that? I yeah. mean that. I, think <laughs> I generally. I will Andre, say this though. You Andre, know, you got you know, potential, man. You know, to you this could point, do it. To this point, I will agree with this. I think that height has as much, if not just, potentially with some girls, even more to do with their attraction than race. Really? Like, I, like people. A lot of. You know, different people hard filter, like women hard filter no. for typically like height and race. I, I don't but more think, so maybe even height. I think the Asian guy's height does not change the internalized self-hate, but I think it changes how much non other types of women might like Asian guys. So it would open up the options for other types of women if Asian dudes were taller. I yeah, think so. I'll be honest. I I, I don't uh, I don't see height. <laughs> <laughs> You're height blind. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty fair. Hey, but, but girls, though, are not Oh, they blind. see it. They yeah. see it fucking um, totally. Moving on to this next one. Somebody said it actually has to do with Asian guys not liking different types of women. They only like glamorous fob chicks or ABGs. So actually, I'm more of like a bohemian like writer type. Uh, you got to click on it. I can't click on this profile. Wow. But like, but like basically, these girls are a little bit more like hipster writer. You know, Williamsburg. Oh, I love like, that. Like thrift, thrift <laughs> shop. You know, oh, like yeah. Vibe. Like, because like, that's the type that likes comedians. I yeah. Know but like, I'm saying that like they were saying that they never felt the love from the Asian guys that they felt attracted to, and that they were all the Chad Asian guys were only into ABGs or like you know K-pop stars. I think I think there's truth to this for this, sure. This, I agree. This I agree is, with this. this. You didn't like me banging it. Well, you didn't like me. You didn't show me any love. And it's like, I see what you're saying where it's, it's kind of like, well, the Asian guys didn't show me love growing up, so now I don't like them anymore. Yeah. And then the Asian guys are like, what? How come you don't like Asian dudes, man? Yeah, I like that, you. <laughs> I can't no. see it any other way than that right, right. now. No, this so is so like these a, are white, uh, more Asian hipster girls that date white, skinny, tall guys that are kind of like the world traveler types, you know, with the beards, yeah. the stubble. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But then somebody, another girl said, I am a very thick Cambodian woman, and growing up, Asian men we hung out with didn't appreciate this full body woman, so I found men that did and obviously uh she's with a black guy yeah, yeah. He, he probably couldn't handle you yeah <laughs> you're too big <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean don't no, blame just, someone but i feel like cambodian dudes would be into the thick girls but yeah i don't know i mean listen if that's their experience i'm not taking that away. do you think asian guys are shooting themselves in the foot by only going for i'm not saying you because andre you're a little bit of a different type of asian but like <laughs> you know what, I mean? what is that mean? no you're just not a, you know you're not no, fitting know, a major yeah, archetype yeah, you're yeah. a little bit of an outlier i'm yeah. just saying like do you think Asian guys shoot themselves in the foot by only liking like just Hiori or or ABG ten out of ten? What's Hiori? You don't know who Hiori is? No, I don't know anything any references you guys. Talk <laughs> oh, about. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, but no. To your point, I do think they. I think it is. Uh, they do shoot themselves in the foot for sure yeah this yeah. is uh we're getting our last couple comments guys andrew whites are still at the top of the societal food chain here in north america women have always been hypergamous they have the right to like whoever they want but aside from physical attributes i suspect that a lot of asian women also like white men for the societal status boost they can enjoy the fruits of white privilege that the man gets my sister married a white man and Whoa. some asian girls i've known also refuse to date asians because of their poor relationship with their fathers growing up there's multiple reasons but i think that that is one that a lot of people do not like like to talk about it much, mm. as much. Well, I guess we'll see how much self-hatred there actually is uh, as the generations oh. go on, and then you can't blame it on the overly traditional Asian dad anymore. So I guess we'll see in 10, 15 years, you know, when Asian people like right. us and like, you know, the 40-year-old guys that are not super traditional have kids, and then mm -hmm. we'll see how mixed the world can be, you know? Right. Yeah, it's like how much longer can you use that excuse? Right, right, right. Now, we, there was like a ton of other comments, guys. We could just go on no, and what, on. What and if they start hours. using the excuse? My grandfather was really overly traditional, and that yeah. turned me off. My great grandfather yeah. was way too traditional for days. It's in our DNA. You know, they started doing that. Thing. What do you think about this comment from some Asian women that said, Asian woman here, it's not just about being ripped and having tattoos, because I'm not really into that. It's mostly attitude. Asian guys tend to be shy and awkward and timid, and they don't take rejection well. That is why a lot of Asian girls end up with white guys, because white guys go and talk to them and hit on them and fail, but also succeed a lot. Andre, Andre you look like you want to respond. That, that's what I was saying before. You should self-reflect. Maybe it's you. 
Right. You know what I mean? Maybe not, you don't have like, game. You're, you're not, not smooth. You're not being proactive enough. You're not being proactive. You don't know how to text well. You're taking everything personally. Maybe you're too clingy. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, at some point you got to be like, all right, I'm fucking up. Right, right, yeah. for sure. I guess, Andrew, let's just get into the takeaways. Like I said, we can just go in around and uh, talk about this forever because there's so many endless amounts of comments. This might, wa- Andrew, I might want to say for Next Shark, 3,000 comments is like almost some of the most I've ever seen. So it goes to show you, clearly a lot of people have a lot of opinions on this topic. The gender wars of the community. It just keeps continuing. Asian man. men versus Asian women. <laughs> I think that my overall takeaway, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. Gosh, we talked about it for 30 minutes. We could keep talking about it. Um, I think that when you diss your counterpart of the community, you are dissing yourself too. And I think that as long as you disrespect Asian men or if you're disrespecting Asian women, it's all going to come back around onto you and people are not going to respect you. Um, Personally, I think it's going to show. And so I think that... At the end of the day, do whatever you want in life. Date whoever you want. Be whoever you want. But you just stay respectful, to, especially within your community, but also everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to circle back, and, and, you know, I hope I don't get canceled for this, but I want to circle back Ooh. to my Peter Dinklage uh, and, like, dwarf comment. Uh-huh. Because I actually don't believe that the Asian community is dwarves and, like, let's just say, like, Anglo-Saxons or, like, white people are regular people. But I could see that some people, the main vitriol on the internet from Asian guys is towards girls who do feel that way. You know how, like, everybody, like, there's, like, a variance. I'm saying that, like, I think the variance between, like, the Asian community and the Western community, let's just say at a top end, it's more like Lexuses versus BMWs and Mercedes. Mm. You know how those are all good cars? But some girls, they, even if they're Asian, they only want Mercedes and BMW. You know what I mean? Because right. even though Lexuses, you could argue, are, like, even more reliable and, like, got more gadgetry, nothing can be the elegance of a BMW, you know? Right. You know, I feel like, so, but I'm saying that I think the anger from Asian guys is, and I can't speak on all of them, definitely some of them are problematic, definitely there is toxic Asian male attitudes, but I want to say that it's more like, they're like, dang, you're Asian, and you didn't even want to give these Lexuses and uh, Acuras a shot. Like, you th- just thought they were just, you know what I mean? No. I, I did the work. I was a Honda, I was a Toyota, but I upgraded myself. I got a good job. I go to the gym. I, I, I and teeth, you still don't want to test teeth drive. Look good. You know what I'm saying? Like and I'm not. S- I'm not the Corolla. I went from the Corolla to the Corolla XSE to now I'm a Lexus ES300. And you still don't want me because you want the the old BMW. You know what I mean? From like 19. You didn't even want to take out a short term 24 month lease on me. David's like, bitch, you got all these miles on you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's, that's the only thing that I think is, is, is in the community. But I guess, like you said, if I was going to give advice to Asian guys, I would say, let's say, for example, you're born a Hyundai, like a, a base model, right? Or you're born a base model Corolla. Yeah. Upgrade, like you said, get to a point where you're like a Lexus or you're the Hyundai Genesis. You know how the Genesis is the whole... Oh, like, sick is, car. They're all of them. Sick. Even the sedans, the SUVs, yeah. all the Genesises are good. So I feel like you got to do that, Andrew, but you just can't worry about the girls that are obsessed with getting having a BM or a Mercedes. Yeah, you mean just the ones that are like open to it? Because yeah. there's some that are not open to it. And just don't worry about them. Yeah, because what can you do mechanically? So anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Andre? Uh, is this like, like our last thoughts? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say, um, you know, I don't know. It's like the staying in your race thing. And then people talk about white supremacy on here. You know, a big thing in white supremacy is staying in your race. And you, you just really got to be careful of not becoming what you hate. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that's a big white supremacy thing. Like, like oh, you got to keep the blood right. pure. You know what right, I mean? Right, so it's right. like you start doing that thing. So you'd be like an Asian supremacist is still in the similar thinking as a white supremacist. That's what I'm saying. Even though they're, they're different, but there's there's a similar dynamic. Because you're thing. saying, I think, like, you're muddying the water with all the fucking blood. Right, right, and it's right. like, well, you're kind of doing what you hate about the other. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. So you're more of an advocate for Asian guys being Lexuses that get sold to or go, go drive or get sold to other communities. Yeah. Go eat at the other food stalls. Yeah. Go have a good time. Hey. What? Andre Kim. No, I believe oh, it. Okay, okay. I, I totally see. I think there's multiple sides to this issue and multiple ways to feel about it. But like you said, you can't change what people like. So you got to just become what some other people like. It also has nothing to do with you, what someone else does with their dating. You know what I mean? So it's like, why even bother? For sure. You know. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We're going to leave it right there. Let us know in the comments down below. 
Uh, and thank you for watching the Hot Pop Boys. Until next time. Oh, check out Andre Kim's stuff. I'll leave his Instagram down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.